Today, we're going to be programming the scan gauge 2 to read transmission temperature on the Forerunner. This procedure will work with a bunch of other vehicles, so if you need to monitor your fluid temperature, stick around and I'll show you how to do it with this nifty little gauge. Now that I'm towing a small trailer, it's important that I watch the fluid temperature on the Forerunner. The scan gauge 2 will not only allow me to do that, but it does have a lot of other onboard diagnostic parameters. Connecting and setting up the scan gauge is easy, so I'm not going to get into that today, but we'll tap into and program another feature of the scan gauge 2 called the X gauges. This will give us an accurate reading of the transmission fluid temperature. Let's dive right in. I'm going to program the transmission fluid temperature on a 5th gen Toyota 4Runner. However, the same method will apply to all cars. You just need to go to the scan gauge website to get the correct codes. I'm going to start the car. We want to hit the bottom right button. That'll bring it to the home page. And then we're going to go to the right button here, second one down, and press that twice, which is the more button. One, two. Now we're going to go to mode, which is the top right. And then we have the X gauges, which give you a lot of different options. Today we're going to do transmission fluid temperature, and we're going to hit edit. Right now we're on X gauges and zero, so we're going to set this to one. So the X gauge number one is going to be set for transmission fluid temperature. Now we're going to hit the bottom left, which is edit. And then you'll see this TXD pops up right here. These are going to be the numbers that are on the website. And I'm going to show you that right now. So this is where we're going to navigate to on the internet. It is, uh, the web address is scangauge.com. And this is the home page for the scan gauge uh, 1, 2, and 3. So once you're here, we're actually going to scroll down towards the bottom of the page until you get to this black section right here, and it's called the X gauge. We'll go ahead and click on Find X Gauges for Your Vehicle. And once that page loads, scroll down a little bit further, and you're going to have the vehicle makers here. So you'll just click on the vehicle make that you're trying to program the scan gauge for. And since we're dealing with a forerunner today, we are going to do the Toyota Lexus Scion. So I'll click on view. Once that opens, we have a few options here for the years. And this forerunner is at 2017. So I'm going to click on the 2008 to present. And you can either scroll down to find the different codes, or you can just click on this here, which will take you down automatically. And depending on what vehicle for Toyota, if you're doing a Toyota that you have, you'll scroll down uh, and you'll see that there's different options here. But for the Forerunner, specifically the fifth gens here, I'm going to, it'll be the top section here. And I am dealing with transmission temperature. And you'll notice that they'll have uh, quite a few options here. So one, two, three, four different options. These are alternatives for the codes provided uh, for 2010 plus. And then the bottom section for transmission fluid temperature will be uh, pre-2010. So we're dealing with 2017. So I actually have one, two, three, four sections for my 2017 that I can input. Now the codes are, you can see here uh, with my mouse, I'm trying to highlight the uh, TXD, RXF, RXD, and MTH. These are, there are numbers underneath those codes that you're going to, actually there's numbers and letters, uh, potentially, that you're going to punch in. And you're going to start with the top one. So we're going to go back to the video where I'll show you how to input these numbers and letters in order and test it out and see if it works. Just for your information, uh, when I punched in this first series of codes, it did not work. I also punched in the second series of codes, which it did not work. I'm pretty sure it was the third, uh, the third alternative here that I punched in, and I finally got the uh, transmission temperature reading. So don't get frustrated if it's not working. Work your way down the line. You do have four options to choose from here, at least for the Toyota 4Runner 2010 Plus. 
and see if one of those works. So let's go back to the video and I'm gonna show you how we can input these. Don't be intimidated by all these numbers, letters, and, and different codes here. It's quite easy, just follow the uh, instructions that I put on the screen and I'll get you through this. I'm gonna start entering the numbers for the Toyota specific transmission fluid temperature and that's gonna go in the position of gauge number one. The way to do that is now I'm programming TXD. So on the top left, you'll see I have a plus, and then you'll see I have a minus on the bottom. This will change my numbers and my letters. And then on the top right, you'll see an, you'll see an arrow here. So every time I get the correct number or letter on the left, and I wanna to move to the next one, I'm gonna press this arrow button. So I'm gonna punch in number seven. So I'll have to add this. Actually, I'm gonna go down to zero. So my first, my first number is zero. And then I'm gonna move on to the second. So I press the right top arrow, and now I'm on my second one. Now the next number is seven. So I'll just hit up or the positive until I hit seven. When I hit seven, I move to the next one, which is my arrow. And we'll just continue this process until we enter all the digits that are on the website for the code. So I wanna go back now. All right, so if you wanna go back, if you screwed up, take it all the way to the right and then it'll start over. So um, I screwed up my zero, it's not a zero, so I'll go back to that number and that's supposed to be an E, 07E. So I'll go through the numbers until I get to the letters. And that's my E, 07E. Next one is a zero. I'll go up zero. And then next one is a two. Next one, eight. And my last number is a two. Once that's programmed in, I'm gonna press okay, and that'll take me to the next series of codes, and that should come up as RXF. That's RXF, and they're asking me for the code, which I'll take off the website again. Zero is correct, so I'll go to the second, and I'll program just according to the website. This is correct, I'm gonna press OK. Once I press OK, I should pull up RXD right here. That's a four digit code, which is 3008. Zero, zero, eight. I will press OK, and then I'll put up next code here will be MTH. So I have zero, zero, zero. My fourth digit is a nine. I'll press okay. And then it's going to ask for a name. So we're going to name it TFT, which is Transmission Fluid Temperature. I'm going to say OK. and I'm gonna save it. And I'll exit. Now I should hit the home button here. It'll tell me my gauges. I'll go to my gauges. And I can scroll through different gauges on which ones I want. So if I wanna change 
I should find transmission fluid temperature, which would be right here. The car is running. We're going to hit bottom right. We're going to hit more twice. We're going to hit mode. And we're going to hit, we're in X gauge, we're going to hit edit. We're going to go back to gauge number one. And we're going to edit that. Now there's a number of codes you can enter. If the first one doesn't work, they give you alternative codes. So let's click an alternative because this one's not working. We've got a TFT, his name's OK. And we'll save. Let's go to the home button. And then we'll go to gauge. And now you can see we're registering 122 degrees on the transmission fluid temperature. So the first code I put in did not work and they give you a bunch of alternative codes. So it was a third one down that actually worked for my vehicle. If the first code doesn't work for you, just be patient and work your way down the line. You will find one that works. Hang in there. If you own a Toyota and you do your own transmission service, you'll know that if you change the fluid, you will need to know an exact transmission fluid temperature and this gauge becomes invaluable in that case. Thank you for watching. If you found this information useful, please feel free to hit that subscribe button. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you have any questions about anything in the video, leave a comment below or the question below and I'll be happy to answer it for you. Stick around. We have a lot more information and videos coming up soon. And don't forget, life begins where the pavement ends. I'll see you in the next one, guys.